Hello everyone, today we're going to continue our adventures in Twilio Quest. So we were able to complete uh, API Academy, we completed the Pythonic Temple, and today we're going to do the Forest of Open Source. So, let's get started. Okay. Alright, so, we're going to travel down here, and I think we're going to have to talk to this guy first before we can go on. Okay, so let's go ahead and travel this way. Let's go this way. Okay, now let's get to our first puzzle. Okay, so here we got to create a, a GitHub account. So what you need to do is go to GitHub and create a new user account. So click on <clears throat> click on uh, click on this link over here, and it'll take you to GitHub.com, so you can create an account. I already have an account, so all it wants you to do is enter in your username here. So once you've created your account, enter your username, and you'll be able to pass through. I'm gonna go ahead and put my account in. Okay, great. So the first one's complete. So you should have it. Uh, you should have an account on GitHub.com. And let's go on to the next one. Okay, so uh, so we're gonna have to create a fork. All right, a fork is basically like a copy of a repository. So click on Open Pixel Art, and once you're done, once you're here, click on Fork, and you're gonna be able to fork this repository. You're basically gonna make a copy of all of this onto your repository. So once you've clicked on Fork, I've already, I believe, I already have uh, forked. I've already forked this repository. Okay, so that's pretty simple. All right, so now we have a we have a GitHub account. We forked the uh, the repository. Now we can continue. All right, let's go to to this one. All right, so here we're gonna have to install Git. So, um, let's go to click on this link right here. Now I have um, I have I'm using Windows, so if you scroll down here for Windows, you can click here and download it directly. So you click on download it. Uh, download. I already have GitHub, so actually I'm gonna go through the process because they ask a lot of questions, and I'll show you exactly what I put. I clicked on this just so it adds an icon on my desktop. I use Visual Studio Code. You can use whichever one you want as your default, but my favorite is Visual Studio, Visual Studio Code. Um, I, I like Git Decide here. What did I put here? I think I put this one here because it's recommended. Get from the command line. Use bundled, open SSH. Use open SSL library. I use Windows style, I'm using Windows. Min TTY. I, clicked it on, I kept it on default. Um, I did use Grid Credential Manager. I think I only clicked on this one. I'm not too sure. I don't think it matters too much. I could be wrong, though. These are both, um, and I'm not going to click install. Again, I already have it installed, but uh, once you have... Uh, yes, I'm going to exit. I'm going to get out of here. So once you have git installed, here, let me show you. You can go to the command prompt. Git version. And you, as you can see, I have git installed. So we'll click on hack. Awesome. So we have uh, an account. We have Git installed. So let's continue. Okay. Oh, configure. Okay, mine's already configured, but I'll show you how to do this. Uh, this is pretty simple. Go ahead and open up your command prompt. And you're going to type this exactly. Git config global user dot name. And you're going to replace john doe with your name so for example I'm, i'll copy this whole thing i've already done this process but i'm going to go ahead and show you on the command prompt so again open up your command prompt paste this in and again delete uh john doe so for in my example i would be lorenzo rivera that's my name and then i would hit enter but again i have already done this so make sure you keep the parentheses and put in your name okay uh, click enter once you click enter nothing uh, if nothing happens that's perfect it'll, it'll just go to the next line and then again here c 
copy this, copy, I'll paste it in. And again, instead of John Doe at example.com, you write your your email here, your whatever your email is. Okay. Once you hit enter, it should save. So once you've done that, once you set your username and your user email, you click on hack. All right. Let's continue. Okay, so um, use the get command line tools to clone. Okay, so so once you, so you've already forked the repository. We're gonna clone it. And how do you clone it again? You do it through the command prompt. Okay, so you're gonna go to your project, your GitHub project, and you're gonna find that URL. So for example, if I were to find my GitHub project, this would be it. This was the this would is uh, actually no this isn't it I'm sorry let's go to my so I already forked this repository so here it is on, under mine and I need this URL right here so I'm gonna copy this URL okay and then I'm gonna I'm gonna click I'm sorry I'm gonna write so let's let's delete this here so you're gonna write git clone and then you're gonna paste in that URL Okay, this should be your GitHub um, an account. Okay, once you've hit enter, you should uh, you should have cloned it. So just to show you that I've already I've already cloned this here. Let me go up to it. CD. What's it called? Open Pixel Art. Pixel Art. And I'm inside the folder. I've already cloned it, so I'm inside that folder. I'm gonna write dir, and this is all. This is the exact. Let me show you. If you go to GitHub, this is exactly what you've cloned. Okay, so, um, so here, doc ignore. Where is it? Doc, doc ignore. Right here. Okay, that's Docker ignore. Let's look at 11t.js. Whatever that is, that's here. Okay, so as you can tell, I'm showing you on my on my machine this um the repository that i forked okay so again when you fork a repository you're making a copy and here i have it on my um on my computer okay so once that's done once you've cloned your repository click on hack oh i have to give the path okay so um so it should be it should be this right here Okay, copy, paste, hack. Okay, so if you don't know how to find it, what I did, I clicked on, I, I, I wrote it in the in the search. I wrote open pixel art, and I was able to find the location right here. Okay, and here it is. And you're gonna have to paste that uh, URL. I'm sorry. You're gonna have to paste that um, address. So that's where I got it from. Copy, okay, and I pasted it right here. Oops, I pasted it right here, and that's how you um, that's how you hack that. So let's continue. All right, so let's look at this right here. All right, create a branch. Okay, so let's make a branch. So how did how do you create a branch? Let's go back to the command prompt okay um, and so this is what you would write get branch and you would provide a branch name I I wrote new pixel okay so I wrote get branch and I called it new pixel you can call it whatever you want but I called it new pixel click enter okay now let's look at it let me see get branch okay there it is once you hit get branch and you hit enter you should see the branch that you made so I've already made new pixel and again how do you make it you write git branch oops you write git branch and the, the name of the branch okay git provides the checkout command to allow you to switch between between branches so right now as you can see right here the asterisk is on new pixel
if I want to switch between, I write git checkout and the name of the branch. So git checkout, and if I put master, I'll be on the master, okay? And if I write git branch, notice that you'll see the asterisk on the master, okay? Now, notice that I'm in the master branch right now, and the name of my branch is new pixel. So if I write new pixel here, it's not going to let me go through. So what you're going to have to do, you're going to have to switch back to your new pixel. So how do you do that? Git checkout new pixel. Okay, and now that we're switched back, we should be able to hack. Awesome. Let's continue. Let's see what we got. All right, so let's see. All right, this part is a little long. All right, so let's get started. This part, there's a lot to it. All right, so first of all, let's install node.js. So go ahead and click on this link. Okay, node.js. Click on node.js. And I, I use uh, recommended for most users. So click that and install it okay i've already installed mine and now go let's go to the command prompt and make sure that you are in your open pixel art directory okay and once you are in your directory you're going to type in npm install now i've already installed it i'm going to see it's not there's no harm in doing it again it's just going to tell me that um I may be reinstalling. Okay, so make sure that's done. And now start it up. So write npm start. npm start. Okay. Okay, now what we can do, we can open up a web browser. Copy this right here. Copy. Open up a web browser and paste that right here. Okay. Um, and this is basically what you're running on um, on the command prompt, okay? What you just ran right here is basically this site right here. And you're going to add a pixel. Let me see if mine is here. Um, I think I, yep, this is mine. So this is the one that I added here. And you're going to get to add one too. So how do you do that? All right, so we need to find this um folder and let's go let's go ahead and find it and uh again uh again um if you go into your search you'll be able to find it open pixel art that's the that's the way i was able to find it okay let's close this and here you're going to need to find this uh address right here so underscore data which is right here okay and you're going to have to open up this this up pixels.json okay so i'm going to open it with visual studio code and this is what we're going to do okay you're going to take this line right here and copy it copy and then we're going to paste it at the very very bottom so take this and drag it all the way down okay and let's see we're going to put this here We'll hit enter to put our space. We'll click here and we'll paste it. Okay. And we're going to have to make sure that has a comma here. Okay. Don't forget this comma. And then here is where you can edit this. This is going to tell you the X and Y coordinate. This is, you can change the color if you'd like and you can put your username. So change this right here. Put your username in here. Okay. Um, if you know the colors, you can change it. I suggest you leave it. And here is where you can change uh, the coordinates. So let's go back to um, this right here. And as you can tell, the one that I put was 2712. So again, pick an unoccupied square. This is 171. This would be 172. This would be 173. This would be 174. So let's say I wanted to put it right here on 174. We'll go. 17 and we'll change that to 4 okay now almost done what's next click here 
okay so what this does if you run this in the command line this will sort this for you so it's going to take these numbers it's gonna, and it's going to put it in the ordered list okay so let's go ahead and do that so let's copy this copy back to the command prompt Ooh, i'm running this over there. if you hit Control c you stop this so let's terminate this for now i'm going to terminate it okay and notice we're still in the same directory we're going to hit paste okay and once you hit enter it's going to sort this let's see um yes so it sorted it okay make sure you save this here too file save you could try this out as well let's go to the command prompt right npm test test okay go ahead and let that run okay now for some reason it shows a failure over here um but that's okay that's not going to stop us from what we're doing so we're going to have to commit the changes that we've made. So go ahead and copy this right here. Run it and run it in the command prompt. So again, I've already I've already committed my changes. So you're going to paste it and hit enter. Okay? And then once you hit get status, let's look at let's go to get status. Status Okay, so here, as you can see, I have modified my JSON file. Okay, um, let's see. So, once that's done. Okay, okay, and finally, we're going to commit. So, again, this whole line, copy. And you're going to hit paste over here and then enter. Okay. And once you are done, once you've committed your changes, click on hack. And there you go. The flame of open source. Now what we can do, we can go down here. And before this, uh, this path was blocked. Now, if we hit space bar, we'll burn all that away. And now we can continue with our adventure. So, we're going to take a break there. Hopefully, I will see you in part two. Bye-bye.